bad. All right, now we are watching a lot in the tropics. Things are going to get interesting here on the East Coast, but we are okay at this point here. Okay, let's get that out of the way. That is Umberto. You can see the path here going in between Bermuda and Hatteras. This one's the one we need to watch. 80 to 90 percent chance of development. This one's going to be impressive. I mean, in just the next 24 to 48 hours, we're going to end up with a Cat 3 major hurricane. All right, tomorrow this will be a hurricane and then it goes to 125 mile per hour winds. That's the current forecast during the day on Sunday. Now that's Umberto. It's way out there. Okay, this is the center of all of that. All right, it may reform, but right now it looks like the convection's trying to catch up to that center and the forecast models are trying to hold on to where it is. But look what's happening now. You can see both of them kind of recurving. At least it started that way, but then this one started curving in to South Carolina early this morning. Now look what happens. Some of them go there. Some of them go out. Some of them turn early. Nothing set in stone with this storm right now. What we are concerned about here is that it doesn't come into Florida. But right now, I don't think that's a very good chance because we have this cold front coming Saturday. This is Saturday evening. The front probably already across by that time. But when that gets to the coast, that helps to block this storm and that'll pull it up towards the north and then we'll have to see if it goes on shore as it looks like it would Monday night into Tuesday up towards Myrtle Beach, maybe even Wilmington, North Carolina, Cape Fear area. So we'll keep an eye on it, but this is not our storm at this point. Okay, good news there.